Hello, this is uh, a quick, well, hopefully quick instruction of how to make your own uh, scriptable assembler trace analyzer thingy. So the first thing is to go to um, the one that I have, go to the latest version of the assembler, go to file, and then go to make a copy. And, you know, you can place the copy any, any way you want. I'm going to place mine to a separate folder. So I'm going to put it to a folder that is not shared. So it is going to resemble you know, what you typically would see. So I'm going to put it into the CISP 310 folder. Okay, I just got past it once. Okay, so click uh, select and do not share. Copy comments, no, and then click OK. So what uh, it's doing right now, what it is doing right now is it's making a copy. So now we are seeing the copy because we can see the name. Oh, you cannot. Uh, well, you can because the name of this spreadsheet is copy of assembler, which is the copy of something that we just made a copy of. All right, so that's good. Um, and then what we do is we go to tools. We go to script editor. And that's going to pop up a uh, Google script editor. And then what we do next is uh, kind of important. You have to choose a secret string that you want to use. So I'm not going to use ABC123 exclamation point to add pound. So instead, you can you can go to some other places you know, where it can generate a random string. It's not really that crucial um, as long as it is not something that's super duper obvious. You should be fine. So I'm just going to you know, just jam something on the keyboard like that. And then don't forget to save the file. OK, so control S to save the file first. Once the file is saved, you want to uh, go to the drop down box next to debug and then click on the drop down box. And then you want to go to Gen Digest. So make sure it looks like this before you click on debug. When you click debug, it should generate the output. Uh, oh, first of all, it's going to say authorization required, and you can just go ahead and review the permissions and grant the permissions. Okay. So you want to use whatever account that you're currently using and just say, you know, allow. Because otherwise, the script is not going to work. Now, once it runs, this is the important part, too. So when it runs, it will give you an execution log because we use debug instead of just run. So what you need to do is to copy this entire um, array, starting with the AND uh, square bracket, and just copy the whole thing, okay, all the way to the beginning or the open of the square bracket. Type Control C on your keyboard to copy it into um, the clipboard, and then close this. So now we are back to the script. And then the next thing you need to do is to go to simple auth as a function and then replace the entire um, array of local variable or local constant D with what you have in the clipboard. So control B would override it. So now we have this entire thing updated. And don't forget to control S, save the file again. And what we have done so far is we have now created a new password, which is this long string here, for this specific version or for, for this specific copy of the assembler. Now, this is kind of important because you don't want other people to kind of randomly mess around with your um, assembler. All right. So next thing is we need to deploy this. So to deploy, you click on the deploy. Uh, click on the drop down box, go to new deployment. Oh, okay, my face is covering this up. Okay, let me just get rid of myself. Okay, there we go. All right, that's better. So go to deploy, click on new deployment. And you can basically replay, uh, use a new description of um, customized to my password. 
and make sure that it is executing as you and also let anyone have access to this web app. The reason why you have to allow that is because when we upload the uh, source file, it is through a script and we are not going to go through the trouble of you know going through Google authent authentication. So that's why the easier way is to do it this way. And plus we also have a SHA-512 uh, hash in order to do some, you know, a little bit of your protection. And then we click deploy. And after you click deploy, you'll be given, you know, these two things that you can copy. The deployment ID is not really that useful to you. Um, instead, you want to copy the web app URL. So just click copy so that it will become a part of your clipboard. All right. So we are kind of done at this point. So the important part now is to go to your local computer and either you're using Linux, you're using Mac OS, or you're using WSL. I'm not sure whether Windows will work. You know, if you have SigWin installed, it might work in Windows. You know, if you just have Bash, I'm not sure. Okay, so I'm not gonna go there. So now I switch to this particular uh, command line interface. Um, I, I will first start with unzipping river spider.zip, which is a file that I am providing to you, and it's gonna unfold or unzip to its own folder. So this makes it kind of easy to organize everything because it is all in one folder. And in this folder, it includes everything that you need. It includes the jar file that you need, it includes all the circ files that you need. Uh, it also includes um, all the additional components. So what you need to do now is to, uh, since the clipboard already has the web app URL, so you want to overwrite web app URL here by just saying cat um, and then greater than web app dot URL. And then you paste the content of the um, clipboard right now. Uh, depending on which shell you're using um, or which terminal you're using, you probably need to press control alt, uh, excuse me, control shift V to paste in Linux. Um, in other environments like uh, Mac OS X, you have to kind of read about how to paste the content of a clipboard onto a command line interface like this. But the idea is really just to copy and paste that whole string into here, press the enter key, and then press control D to mark the end of file. So that's one thing. And then we have to switch back to the script again. This time we are trying to copy this um, secret string. So kind of copy the whole thing, control C again, go back to your command line, and then now we have a cat slash uh, greater than secret string dot txt because that's the text file that is containing your uh, secret string. Press the enter key and then control V again. And oh, okay, I don't I, I don't need the single quotes in this case. I'll get rid of those in just a little bit. Okay, so control D again to uh, stop the uh, cat program. And I'm just going to use NVim. You can use whatever editor you want to use to edit the content of secret string.txt. Because the idea is, if you did not put on the extra quotes, you'll be fine. But you know, since I did, because I was in my head, I was originally thinking to use echo, but then I changed my mind, and that's why I have to go back and you know, edit the um, the file. So you want to make sure, okay, so if you do a cat secret string.txt, you want to make sure that what you see here is exactly what you see over here, okay, without the quotes. Because if they're not the same, then your application is not going to be able to authenticate um, to get things done. So assuming you follow me all the way up to here, um, now it is time to test whether it works or not. Make sure that you are in the folder of uh, River Spider because everything is relative to the current folder or the working directory at this point. So you want to do a dot slash submit dot sh and then um, give it a test ttpsm file, which is a very simple program. It doesn't do much, but it, it does help to verify that everything is working. So press the enter key and it will report the, all the um, steps. If, if one of the steps is not working, it will probably give you a message. Uh, but when everything is done correctly, this is what you should, what you should see. 
and then now you can switch back to your browser you probably don't need to make any further changes you know if you see all these messages that that means you have set up your password and your SHA-512 correctly already so you can probably just, just close the tab or your browser tab for um, the script and then you can now focus on um, the spreadsheet itself the Google spreadsheet so you want to go to the source tab make sure this is the test program and then you go to analysis and make sure that you are seeing something exactly like this because this is the trace of the program uh, that we call test.ttpasm so if you're seeing all of this that is a confirmation that your program is indeed uh, working so now you have a easier way to write code and then submit it now um, if you use this approach um, you can still put your TTPASM file any way you want. It's just that when you run the submit program, you have to be in Spider, uh, River Spider, in the River Spider folder. But you can specify your uh, the path to your TTPASM, you know, anywhere you want, and it will still work. So that's the kind of the cool part of uh, this particular script is it will pick up your uh, source file from anywhere it's just that when you run it you have to you have to be in this particular folder I suppose there's there are ways to make it so that you can run uh, submit.sh you know from somewhere else but you know I'm too lazy to change that you are free to change this to uh, whatever you want all right so I think that covers it all because I just created a new uh, spreadsheet out of the the one that I already had change the authentication uh, hash um, and then make sure that everything works all right so I'm gonna stop the recording and um, give you guys the link to the YouTube and also the zip file itself